Hi, my name is Rick Snow. I'm uh, the author of uh, the uh, Attribution Guide for the Flying Eagle in Indian Sense. That's the snow numbers that are for the varieties of that series. Um, I'm owner and operator of Eagle Eye Rare Coins, and uh, also I do uh, uh, a uh, grading uh, sticker service called Photo Seal. Uh, today I want to talk to you about variety collecting. Uh, we get a lot of people coming in to, uh, to ask me about varieties and they don't do their homework. So I want to talk to you about doing your homework. <laughs> uh, people come in with all kinds, uh, you know, they come in with a, a 1990 penny and they say, oh, it's a close AM. Sorry, it's a 92 you should be looking for, you know. So uh, these kind of things, um, people uh, get a lot of their information off the internet and off of YouTube, and hopefully you're watching this on YouTube or wherever, and getting in good information. But there's a lot of bad information out there. So what you need to do is learn, if you want to collect varieties, learn uh, the basics. And what you need to do about that is uh, buy a book like the Cherry Picker's Guide, uh, and many other uh, uh, variety books have basic information in them. Uh, this will tell you, what, uh, what is a pro, uh, premium value variety and what is not a premium value variety. Basically, uh, uh, if a coin is messed up uh, after it's struck, it's not a premium variety. <laughs> uh, most varieties that you should be looking for are already known. So if you uh, look at uh, the, uh, say, the Cherry Picker's Guide, uh, you have to really memorize that and look uh, look at the uh, varieties that are listed and concentrate on on those uh, if you find something that isn't listed uh, you should uh, first have an expert check it out we have a lot of people that send me coins uh, i'm the one that assigns varieties for indian sense so i get a lot of coins that uh, i have to decide whether it's a, a variety or not uh, that should be listed and uh, so that's the first step if you find something new, but uh, the chances of finding something new is uh, very slim nowadays. Uh, so I would concentrate on varieties that are already known. Uh, you can uh, do a lot of searching for really cool varieties on uh, online uh, sites, either on websites or auctions or uh, on eBay, things like that. And um, I got to tell you, there's a lot of people doing that. So you're up against a lot of competition. Uh, but sometimes you might run into something that is, nobody else sees and you're, you might find, snag a winner. Uh, I'll tell you a short story. Uh, a couple years ago, I was uh, searching on uh, eBay and I found someone that listed four uh, raw Indian cents uh, and with a starting price of 99 cents. Well, um, I know from writing the, my book, uh, one of the uh, identifiers for finding the rare 1888 over seven is a little die cut over the E in uh, United. And so it, you don't have to look real close to see, see that that's the variety. You can, from arm's length, uh, tell, just if you know that. So um, anyway, the eBay sale I found had an 88 over seven, and I graded it XF. Uh, and uh, so I quickly put a bid of $20 to lock it in just so the guy wouldn't take it down. And then I put a, uh, a, uh, a snipe bid, uh, you know, end of sale bid for, oh, like $8,000. And went away, and uh, when I uh, came back and see if I won, I did win it. I got it for $47 ended up selling it for $12,500. Um, so that can happen, you know, so if you're out there looking, uh, you can find some really uh, cool varieties uh, that nobody, um, nobody else has spotted. Uh, in that case, I was just lucky that nobody had uh, read my book. <laughs> so you never know what you're gonna find uh, online, so you gotta keep looking. Uh, with uh, Indian sense and flying eagle sense, uh, one of the big ones, I mean, this is, uh, is the uh, 
1857 with a clash die from a $20 gold piece. Um, there's none ever been found in mint state condition. And the highest graded one is an AU, and it sold for $45,000. So, um, so if, you, if you're lucky enough to find one of those, um, you know, you can make your year. Uh, other things you can do is uh, searching through uh, collections in, uh, or accumulations of, uh, say, wheat scents or uh, Lincoln scents, memorial scents. There's a lot of interesting varieties that you can find there. Uh, it takes a lot of time. Uh, one thing you should get is uh, one of these. There's a loop, okay? I have a 7X here for grading. I have a 10X here for uh, variety hunting. And then if I get, need to get real close, I have a, a 14X uh, for uh, uh, real close looking. It's almost like a microscope. So you should uh, get yourself at least one good uh, magnifying glass. A couple helps too. Uh, also, get all the reference books you can. Uh, I know there's a lot of information online, but having the uh, books in hand is uh, very important. Uh, my book on the Flying Eagle in Indian Sense, uh, we put out an electronic edition, so you can actually download it and put it on your iPad so you can carry it to shows. That's uh, a big handy uh, enhancement. Uh, it's also cheaper. Uh, some of the other things you can do is um, uh, join uh, the uh, various uh, clubs. Uh, for Indian Sense, we have the Flying Club. Uh, there's the EAC and then um, various other uh, clubs that are as, do work with uh, variety hunting and you know, variety collectors. And um, uh, you know, hopefully you'll find something. Um, at a big show, like this is being filmed at the Fun Show, uh, you, there's, you, can ha you can spend all week going from table to table looking for varieties and uh, you can have a good time. Uh, it's very interesting and you'll come up with some really interesting things if you have a good memory and uh, uh, have a good uh, feel for what is good to buy. And hopefully you come away with something that uh, really makes your show. Uh, other than that, uh, looking on online for varieties is a lot of fun and uh, all I can say is good luck and uh, have fun at it. So my book is uh, the, uh, uh, the Flying Eagle and Indian Scent Attribution Guide and it's, uh, it's a huge book. It's like 900 pages and uh, you can buy that uh, off my website which is indianscent.com, Eagle Eye Rare Coins. Uh, the electronic edition, or the, yeah, the electronic edition is uh, also available, and that one is $75. You can buy the hardcover book for $200. It's a two-volume set, but you, you can't lug that around the coin shows. Um, and uh, so all that, avail all that information is available at uh, our website at indiansent.com.